welcome back to my channel. I'm Simon62 and today we're doing a retro review. Now this is one of my favourite mouth lung RTAs and it's the X-Vape X-Promiser version 4 mouth lung RTA. So this is a 23mm diameter single coil RTA. It's got top airflow, top filling and it's got a juice control. Next. Uh, the Expromiser version 4 is the fourth generation of the mouth lung RTA designed in Germany by Xvape. So then guys, let's go for a toot. We'll go down below, do an unboxing, put a build wick in, fill the tank up, come back up top, I'll give you my final thoughts. So, see you in a minute. Right guys, here we have the packaging for the X-Vape X-Promiser version 4 mouth to lung RTA. So front of the box you've got X-Promiser, X-Vape Professional Atomizer, picture of the device, V4 X-Vape designed in Germany. Back of the box you get a barcode, serial number and I've got the 2mm polished version. You've got warnings in German, English, manufacturer's details, usual warnings, X-Vape. Scratch and check authenticity. So this outer sleeve pops off. You're greeted with this box, X-Vape. You've got two thumb cutouts. So in here we've got a user manual, which is in German and in English. Which is self-explanatory. Then we get as device how it comes installed. So this is with the Ultim or acrylic drip tip and tank so that's your the atomizer you get a spare 2mm glass which we will be using you get a baggie with spare o-rings post screws also you get a little blue screwdriver so guys I'm going to swap this over because I'm not keen on the ultimate looking tank so the 510 drip tip the, the little tip here is on a screw thread so I can take that one out you do get a black one you see that small bow so that can go in like that so this is a 510 with two o-rings on so it is a top fill. So we've got a nice black gasket in the top there. There's your nice two kidney filling ports. This is your airflow, top airflow ring. So you've got six one millimeter diameter holes. So you can fine tune that, knocking an hole down. Like that, it's on the stopper. So, top bit comes off. So, we've got an o ring inside the top. This is the Ultim tube, which I don't like, so I won't be using that. And this has a, a juice flow control on. Now, the old bottom bit, when it's on the mod, spins around your base. So, as you can see, You've got three holes there, there's one millimetre hole and two two millimetre holes. And you've got the same on the opposite side. So when you're filling a tank up, if you close it off, fill your tank up, and then you can um, open your holes to your, your preference. So a thicker VG, you'll have two holes open, or three. On a 50-50, one hole. So... This comes off guys, and that's your deck, two post deck, so it's a top to bottom airflow, and your air comes out of that centre hole there, so your air goes down through your, ch your chamber, there's some little holes in here, so your air is coming out of these little holes, either side,
and hitting down here there's four holes on on the base so they're hitting there and then coming up through the center so on the bottom guys it's a gold plate at 510 you've got x x vape cv don't vape in a bin and your serial number so guys we'll we'll pull build in this and then we'll wick it up put it all back together fill the tank up then we'll have a vape on it so i'll just pause it here a moment so then guys today i'm using an nature vape free core fuse clapton coil 34 times 3 42 gauge n18 1.116 ohm coil it's going to 2.5 millimeter inside diameter so i place my coil into the deck and it focuses now on on your on your screw clamps here you've got some little notches there where it sits in so guys we'll just snip off the leads the excess lead close as you can so it don't short out on the inner chamber we'll just have a look point point nine eight we'll just give it a fire Let's give it a rake so it's blowing e evenly from the inner to the outer that's okay that so we'll just so that's coming out at a, a one point zero seven ohm coil so we'll just let that cool down a minute guys and we'll put his uh, wick in so guys i'm using a muji strip so just put your wick in and make sure it isn't too tight and ain't too loose so that looks about right now this is where your, your wicking part is here so i tend to cut this flush with the outer bit here so and it's a very forgiving tank this it's very easy to wick and very easy to build on so i'll just fluff them up and then take off them straggly bits and just lightly tuck it in to your juice parts making sure them three holes are just covered up likewise on the other side So, that looks okay to me. So, today's juice, guys. This is a, one from Bessig Liquids, and this is a mild Virginia clove in 6040 VGPG. So, this is the first time I'm using this, and there will be a review up later on in the week. So, let's just, just soak that cotton. Be okay with that. Yeah, so right guys. So next is to put us in a chamber on. So that just scre screws on like that. I like to say when you've got it on your mod, this whole section spins round for your juice control. So we need to make sure that's closed off. You see, focus, so that's closed off now. So I'm going to use a glass 2 mil tank. So put on your top bit. And we'll fill the tank up. Which holds 2 mil.
So then guys, that's a quick build and wick of the X-Vape X-Riser V4. Oh, it's got X, X, EX branding on the outer chamber there. So we'll put this in a mod, come back up top, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So guys, I'll see you up top. Right guys, back up top with my final thoughts on the X-Vape x, -Vape, x -Remiser version 4. So Simon, what's the good and the bad points with this RTA? Well, I'll tell you for now, me personally, there's no bad points. So they're all plus. So, in the glass mode, with the black drip tip in, I think that looks stunning. So this is a polished stainless steel, 2 mil tank, top filling, top airflow. Uh, it's got a 5 step liquid control on the bottom. So you can either have that 1 mil open or them 2 2 mils open, depending on your 50-50 or 70-30 ratio e liquid it's got excellent mouth to lung flavor it's easy to build on and wake it's got very smooth airflow like i say excellent machining and stunning looks uh, there's no leaking with it and you've got that choice you can either use the uh, ultim uh, tank section for the ultim drip tip but that ain't my cup of tea so let's take it for a vape So guys, I've got the airflow fully open on the six 1mm holes. I've got a nature vape 1.116 ohm coiling. It's coming out at 1.07 ohms. I've got it set at 14 watts. And yeah. It's quiet. It's smooth. And the flavour to me is on point. Now I normally... Have about four of the holes open, so I've just turned it down a notch. You might not be able to see that. So that's with the four of the one mil uh, air holes open. Yeah, this is like my benchmark at uh, Mouthfulling RTAs. I, every one I've, I've got had since, I, I compare it to this one. Well, like I say, it's, it's a couple of years old, and I've had this about, I don't know, 12, 14 months, and it's in my daily rotation. So, to one, 1 to 10, I think you've guessed it, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10, because I can't fault it. So, big thumbs up to x -Vape. So then, guys. As always, if you like my review, don't to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to leave a comment, hopefully I'll get back to you. And also, like I say, I keep saying it after each review, keep your social distancing, uh, keep safe and well, and I'll catch you in the next one. <clears throat> but before I go, some more news. Now, on my last review, I had some news that I were doing a Friday night show as a co-host. Well, yesterday, Sunday, I started my second show as a co-host on the Sunday afternoon vape show with the host, Vaping Manked, and me as a co-host. So, guys, I'll just show the intro for that show when we finish. And if you want to go and check this show out, it's on the Sunday afternoon, 3 p.m. UK time. Don't forget the Friday show is on at 7 pm UK time on JP Baberio's channel. So, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.